Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. I have an unboxing to do, something new to the channel. And it's right there looking at me right now. Uh, it is a small box. Yeah, that's a small box. Um, new addition to the channel. And we will have some modifications to do to this guy. Um, and yeah. Let's bring the small box in the shot and show you what it is. Like I was saying, it's a small box. It's, 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 it's a little bit kind of hard to grab, but yeah, you kind of see the box right now. You see a little bit more. Like I was saying, it's a small box. By the picture you're seeing right now, you know the brand of it. Maybe some of you will know what it is. What is it? A small truck. A low C. DBXL Desert Buggy 1 5th scale electric. Now, if you go take a look on my older, older video, I do have videos on the, um, the uh, low C5T. And I do have one that it is converted to uh, electric. Um, that machine was a beast. In that time, was running on 8S, uh, converted near after to 12S, but I don't have it on 12S. Uh, but this guy here does run on 8S. It's gonna be a beast for sure. It's 50 miles plus. It has LED bars in front. Uh, Basically, if you are aware of about the Tenacity DB, it's just a bigger size. But pretty sure you're tired of me talking right now. You want to open this box. Let's open this box. Break the seal. And for some of you that not aware, half of the time when you buy a vehicle, the vehicle does just half of the box. Not this one. It is actually the complete length of the box. One cardboard we don't need. Yeah. I did say it was a small truck. They give you some instructions and some Allen keys that could work, but it'll be hard on your hands. Get yourself a good set of tools. And I think the way I'm gonna do this, flip it on the side. and show you the back of the truck. Grab this, put it in the ground. Like you can see by the back of it, a small truck. This is the remote. It's, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice machine. Literally a very nice machine. Um, it is on 24 mil uh, wheels. Big wing, LED light bar in front here. As you can see. 
two body clips to remove. And they're hard to remove. And let's see here, before we open that, there's something in here. We have a wrench, aluminum wrench, with uh, basically, a, not a socket, but a spanner to be able to adjust your knuckles. That's cool. And give you a set of batteries that are not that great, but why not? Now this, I know which remote it is. Not bad of remote. A little bit hard to take out of the box. Seriously. There you go. It is the DX3. And if you're running smart batteries in this vehicle, it will tell you the voltage that's left in your batteries. That's one thing I do love about the smart technology. You grab, remove your two body pins. You're basically lifting it up. And you just lay it to the back here. And this is where you have the beast of a motor, literally. Uh, yeah. I'll turn it around. We'll see. Here you put your two batteries. Okay. Uh, massive servo here, massive ESC, and a very small motor. I know I say this word pretty much often, but not sure if you can see the size of it. Let's grab just for fun. I do have a Coke bottle here. Standard 355 millimeters. Yeah. It's the size of the Coke bottle, literally. That's a big can. Literally. You have aluminum shocks, front and rear. Uh, shock towers are aluminum too, front and rear. This is the power that feeds the LED bar. You do have the Spectrum uh, Firmo. I think that's the... Uh, the 150, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 150. And the key view of the motor, basically, this guy is the 7, 780 KV, if I remember correctly. Kind of looks like 700, but could be 780 or 700. Um, does have a fifth scale servo in it. That might be, might get changed. Not sure yet, but possibility, yes. Uh, Subo Harm is, looks aluminum. That's awesome. Do love that. Uh, still dry shafts front and rear. Even the dog bones. And they might, yeah, no, the back is normal ones and front are CVDs. Aluminum chassis. Seriously, this is a great truck. And one of the things I do like what they did, uh, they did similar to the uh, Axial Rift. Just now, Axial and Lucy all under the same company with Horizon Hobbies. Uh, the ESC is a dead center. In the body itself, they made a hole. When you do close your hood, your AC breathes in the middle here. It gets air. That way, it doesn't get cooked by its own air inside of itself. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, it, that I do like a lot. The other thing too they did that not a lot of people know about. Once you close the hood, you're gonna look at me, okay, how do I turn it on? Do I turn it on before or after? No, you don't. Just behind the, uh, the driver itself, there's another hole that you have access to the on and off switch. That I do like. You don't need to remove your, your hood every time you want to turn it back on or turn it off. Uh, and let's say you want to plug it in, 
and you're gonna go run it. Oh man, I have to wait for a buddy or something. I have to dismantle this, pop it again. No, you don't need to physically do that. And now I just lost my lights. You still can see it, not too bad, sorry about that. Uh, you just use the button right here to activate your on and off switch. Um, now, like I was saying, there will be some modification done to this truck here. For the moment, it will stay stock. Might change the servo to put a better one in it. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. But a physical motor, things like that, stays too. Uh, it'll be ran on 4S 5000s, uh, 100C. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more about this truck. Running videos to come. And one thing I want to take a second or two if you're watching this still, a lot of you guys are basically watching my videos but you're not subscribed. You're watching my analytics, uh, that's what it's telling me. I got a lot of listeners but not subscribed to me. Please subscribe to my channel. It does help a lot, the channel. And I do appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.